So May is finally coming to an end and here are the top 5 apps that I tried and tested during the month of May. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel once again. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe. If you're old here, thanks so much for coming back again. So starting off with the apps is Material Islands. We all know that live wallpaper is basically sucks and drains batteries a lot. So if you're looking for a minimalistic wallpaper like the one in the intro of my video, you might want to consider Material Island. This is a minimalistic wallpaper that has been categorized into groups. For instance, we have the Isle of Easter, the Isle of Winter. So you just have to pick a theme of your choice and you set it as your wallpaper by clicking on the set wallpaper. It is going to give you the option to set it as a home screen or a home screen and then a lock screen. So any of them, you just have to apply it. And as time goes on, it basically changes. So there are a lot of categories that you can choose from over here. You just have to pick one of them for yourself. At the settings, you can set up the time, the costume time span. That is how often the wallpaper will be changing with time. And then the night mode, over here basically changes the wallpaper to a night mode section when it's night it is done automatically so you don't have to be changing it yourself there are a couple of things that you can try out over here so you take your time to go through all of them so looking for a minimalistic wallpaper for your phone i suggest you try the material islands moving on at number two is hq music player today i'm sort of bringing to you minimalistic apps so this is also one of the best minimalistic music players that you can see as you can see on the screen right now there is nothing on here but that doesn't mean there is nothing actually on this music player it's just that it saves you time and a lot of design works so i'm going to show you the seven things that you can do with this particular music player the minimalistic music player so when you first download the app and you install, this is the very thing that you'll be welcomed with. So you allow a couple of things over here. And then these are the basic gestures that you are going to use to operate this particular music player. So that is it. You swipe up to open the playlist and then you swipe down to check the track information. Then the swiping on the right and then left gives you the next and the previous zooming in and out gives you the volume control and then the timeline control is also done by the two fingers rotating on your phone and again if you long press on the app you're going to have the voice search so that is the first thing that you're going to set up that you're going to be welcomed with so in putting this into use when you swipe up like this you're going to have all your tracks and then you have your artist the album the and everything and you can do a search over here also so i'm going to open up one song over here for instance like this one and then when you get back over here we can put all the information that we received into you so when you zoom in and out you're going to increase and decrease the volume and of course when you rotate you're going to have the timeline increased or decreased so you can put all of these into use so i'm currently increasing the volume of this one using the gestures so basically that's it um it's very simple and very minimalistic very intuitive the response it doesn't lag and basically that's it so you can get this particular app if you want a simple minimalistic music player for your phone coming up at number three is memorize Memorize is a very simple language learning app that you can use to learn any language of your choice. So for instance, when you move to a different country and you want to learn their language, be it French, German, Japanese, Chinese, all that you need to do is pick up the language that you want to learn. For instance, you learn another course over here. So if you want to learn German, you just pick up German and then you start. This app takes you from the right beginning from the voice and the phrases and then it takes you to the grammar section and everything that you need to do so i'm basically at the starting level of french if you click on the voice and the phrases it takes you to the continuation of where you left 
so at this section it tests what you've learned so far and then it continues from there so this is something that i learned yesterday savoir et toi and that is it it pronounces it for you and then um it tests more and more so um something like this use um this or something like this yeah i think i'm right and this animation makes it so intuitive and very responsive if you don't get it all that you, you're going to do is you, you hit on it again Quoi? and then it will be pronounced for you so you're going to answer it so what you said is what and then you're going to try so many things I think I'm really learning French over here. It doesn't end that way only. You can join friends on Facebook and then you can do a whole couple of things at the settings over here. I hope you take your time to go through all this. And that is it for number three. Coming up at number four is G. This app brings all your apps, especially your social media handles and your professional apps together with your contact if you drag it to the left side you're going to see a whole couple of apps over here so any of the apps that you want to contact you click and hold and then you drag it inside assuming you want to contact this person right from whatsapp so you just drag and drop this to whatsapp and then you can contact the person straight away the app is very intuitive with just a swipe on the dots over here you're going to assess the app right away it is as simple as that and then it gives you the dialer pads also the dialer pad is very nice the team it comes with several teams that you can use during call times you can basically record voices and record calls all in one place so with the record section over here you can the, the user interface is also very nice that you can moment. get interactive Please, with. Call back later. lastly at the settings you can do a whole lot a whole lot of things like the call recording and where to save it everything it also gives you the caller id so if a new number is calling you and then you don't know the person it basically gives you the name that the person used in registering the sim card so that is it and then you can control the dotted lines and you can do a lot of personalizations over here so if you are looking for a dialer that can bring all your apps together with it and you can assess it from any place whether you're on youtube facebook anywhere you can just assess it anytime you might want to try out tube so last on the list is home workouts so home workout basically provides daily routine workouts for your all your muscles and bodybuilding so if you are looking forward not to go to the gym but you can exercise at at least a few minutes a day to build up all your muscles you can try workout so it provides routines for chest for your abs for your arm your shoulder and your leg and every part of it that you can and the ladies your butt also so you can choose any one of them at your home for example the chest for beginners and then it gives you the basic things you can do to develop your chest if you click on this one over here you can go and watch the video on youtube or you can just look at the animation over here and you practice along so for any of them that you click on it gives you the animation on how to but if you really want to get interactive with a personal trainer you can click on the video sign over here and then you watch the video on youtube at the settings over here you can set up your reminders like every day it reminds you to work out and then you can set goals for yourself also so for something very simple that you can manage at home to build your muscles and keep your health and keep being fit develop your abs your arms your chest and your butt you might want to check out home workouts so those were the five apps that i tried and tested during the month of may let me know about your thoughts about all these apps whether you've tried any of them or which of them you're going to try out and if you have any suggestions of the apps you might want me to try the coming months, you might leave it in the comment section below as I will check them out and give you the feedback the following month. Thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. It's Innocent here. Bye.